I don't know what to expect along the way here. It is making me feel like I am on an expedition to discover unknown lands. Life is good today. You guys, I think I hear sea lions. Like, I feel like I'm in an exotic location. It's gigantic! God, I'm like nervous. There's just no place in the world that can give you the same feeling as the ocean. Well, good morning. I think we are in for an amazing day today. I've just finished showering at Planet Fitness and the plan from here is to hit the road and head to the ocean. So not only will I be experiencing the state of Oregon today for the first time, but I'll also be at one of my favorite places, which is by the ocean. I have already technically been to the ocean since I just came from Seattle, but it didn't feel like the ocean ocean there because it was still surrounded by a lot of land. So today we're gonna go to the ocean ocean where there are waves and seagulls and just miles of beaches. My heart loves to be by the ocean, so I'm especially excited to make this video. It's about an hour and 45 minute drive from here to the location that I want to start our adventures at, so let's hit the road. We are stopped at a stoplight and we're approaching this amazingly cool looking bridge. I really don't know what to expect today. I haven't planned this video very well. I know where I want to go and what I want to eat. But other than that, I don't know what to expect along the way here. And I'm already a couple miles into the drive and loving it. Like I love a good bridge and this one looks amazing. Also, I believe this is the border to Oregon. So when we're on the other side, we'll be in a new state. It's called the Lewis and Clark Bridge and it is making me feel like I am on an expedition to discover unknown lands. There is a lumber yard to the right here. Wow, just full of hundreds and hundreds of logs. To the left here are giant ships. This is amazing. Man, I love this stuff. Bridges, mountains, water, ships, big factories. I find it all so fascinating. We are so high above water right now. <gasps> Entering Oregon! Yay! I am officially in Oregon. That is state number 36 for me. Life is good today. Well, Oregon is already gorgeous and it says there are viewpoints ahead. You know that we're going to be stopping there. <laughs> That's the bridge we just crossed. There have been some beautiful views of the Columbia River on the right side of the drive, which is hard for me to film. So I've pulled over so we can walk to the end of this pier and check it out a little more. I should mention that we are in the town of Astoria. So we're almost to the ocean. You guys, I think I hear sea lions. Oh my gosh. There are so many sea lions. I have not seen sea lions in the wild. I guess I have in California, but from way far away. They're still pretty far away, but I'm gonna see how close I can get. I'm so excited. So there's a bunch of them at the end of that dock. And then there is a ton of them along this fence here. So many. I cannot stop smiling. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's so loud and it's also echoey here, so that makes it extra loud. They're pretty far away, so I can't get a clear shot of them. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I stopped. I wasn't really planning on stopping on the Columbia River, because I was like, oh, it's just a river. I want to get to the ocean, but this is so cool. Like, I'm just amazed by this. Is this like a normal thing for locals? Because this Michigan girl is blown away. Like, I feel like I'm in an exotic location. <laughs> I found a boat ramp. Oh, oh God, it's a little, a little wobbly. Found a boat ramp to walk out on. Oh, and I can see them much better now. Wow, this is a very wobbly boat ramp. Worth it to get close to them though. This is amazing. Oh 
my gosh, they are so loud. They do kind of sound like a lion roar, and it's about that loud. And there are hundreds of them here. There are at least 200 here. That just made my whole trip. I've been on the road for three months and I am 2,000 miles from home, but I would drive here just to see that and turn around because it was that amazing. I'm getting a little hungry, so I am going to make myself a quick lunch and I found the perfect spot to eat it at. I figured seafood was appropriate. I got this hot and sour seafood ramen noodle from the block party in Seattle's Chinatown. You just gotta add hot water and I'm starving and hungry and I don't wanna do a lot of cooking, so that sounds perfect. Wow, there are actual chunks of seafood in there. All right, time to get back on the road. I would like us to stop at the very first beach spot available just so we can see the ocean as soon as possible. I just pulled over again so we can take a shot of this really cool bridge. It's gigantic. We are officially on 101 now, and it is starting with this beautiful bridge over the sparkling water. Oh my gosh, over there are like little mountains. We're only half a mile away from the beach parking lot, and I'm like nervous <laughs> to see the ocean. I don't know why. I guess I'm just so excited. It feels like nerves, but it's excitement. All right, let's go. There's a lady with a horse. How cool is that? There's just no place in the world that can give you the same feeling as the ocean. Oh, love it. Oh my gosh, it is stunningly beautiful here. And it is a gorgeous sunny day. It's windy, but that even adds to the magic. It smells like the ocean. Glorious. Dip my toe in before we get back on the road and keep heading down the coast. <laughs> Woo! That's cold! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's cold, but it feels good. All right, we've got more to see. Let's keep heading down the coast. We've arrived at Cannon Beach, which is the site of the famous Haystack Rock. Haystack Rock is approximately 235 feet tall and is one of the most iconic landmarks along the Oregon coast. This is a little bit of an end point of the trip for me. I still have a couple of weeks left before I start driving back to Michigan, but after this trip, I'm going to start slowly making my way back east. So that coupled with this beautiful location seemed like the perfect place to take my photo for my holiday card this year. I have a membership program through Patreon with different tiers starting at $3 a month. Each tier has different benefits and the higher tiers get a hand signed holiday card from me. So I'm going to pack my festive outfit to change into. If you're interested in the membership program, then please check out the link in the description and a huge thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. This thing is huge. I'm gonna keep my Christmas sweater on because it's getting kind of chilly.
Well, I have diligently cleaned all of the sand off of my feet and I'm ready for bed. It's been a great day and I think tomorrow is going to be even better. The weather's supposed to be sunny and 75, so it's going to be perfect. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. The sun is up and it is glorious outside. I am itching to get back to the ocean. So I have come to the grocery store because I want to have a seafood breakfast. So we're gonna find something yummy in there. Could I have uh, two of the crab cakes, please? Thank you all so much for joining me for some coastal sightseeing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time.